So yeah, we were holding them up. I actually walked over and they were so polite that they didn't even come over and yell. <clears throat> or at least ask, hey man, like we're trying to get home. They didn't even come over, just sitting there waiting. <laughs> well, now it's 12.30 the following day. I'm in Fremont, Indiana. And this has been a challenge. I can't get a truck to tow my trailer to drop the load off. So I've been racking my brain, but I've made about 1,500 million phone calls and I am going to rent a F-250 from Enterprise in a place in Mommy, Ohio, which is about an hour and a half from here. I have to rent a car from where I'm at to drive over there and then they're going to charge me $150 to drop it off. But I will have a truck and then I'm going to rent a 20 foot trailer flatbed. So I'm going to bumper pull and then I'm going to bring that to the yard where my trailer is. They have a forklift available. So we're going to fork everything off that trailer, put it on the flatbed trailer. And then I'm going to drive that to North Dakota, drop my load off. We got a confirmation for Monday in the morning seven to nine to get rid of the expensive one then i'm going to drop off the second pipe then i'm going to drive back here to fremont see this is getting confusing but i'm going to drive back here to fremont so that should get me back here tuesday i just got a phone call from the place where my truck was towed to the mechanic looked at it and they said transfer case front drive shaft Brake lines, fuel lines, wire harness, all destroyed, all need replacing. The bill will be $7,000 and about a week. So between hotels and everything else, I think this is going to cost about $11,000. So, but if we can get out and be done within a week, that will be a freaking miracle. So this adventure continues. So Enterprise was kind enough to drop off my new vehicle so I can get going and here it is. Bam! Look at that guy, huh? Nissan Sentra. <laughs> I have to rent this to drive an hour and a half to Mommy, Ohio to go ahead and get the Ram 2500. So we'll be in that in about an hour and a half. Little rental car is impressive though, seriously. I like it. It's good. Drives well. Ugh, and it's tiny. What I was saying about this little car being impressive, like, look at the interior. It's got driver assist and everything. And it's getting almost 40 miles to the gallon at 80 miles an hour on the highway. I put in 15 bucks because I had to bring it back at a quarter of a tank. I got a half a tank out of $15 at $3.50 a gallon. A half a tank. It doesn't even make sense to me being a truck driver. Yeah, $15 wouldn't even move my needle for God's sakes. But anyhow, look at this. Lane assist. It's got automatic bright headlights. Everything. Very impressed. Very impressed, Nissan. Good job. Here we are, Enterprise Truck Rental, Mommy, Ohio. And here's my Ram 2021. Gray, I like the color. Be nice if there was a ball right there, but there's not. The seat doesn't fold down, so I don't know how I am gonna sleep in there. I'm six feet tall. But all in all, it's a nice truck, so. <sighs> Time to go get our flatbed trailer. There, just coming by to get all my paperwork, get the BOLs for the load I'm delivering, and uh, yeah, grab a couple more things out of here. I'm doing my laundry, so I might as well do it all at the hotel. But apparently, they've already got the transfer case and the drive shaft delivered. So this has been two days since the explosion happened. So not even 48 hours, if my math is correct, but. See if we can see in here a little better. So there's, okay, so that's the front U-joint. That's hanging off right there. And I don't know if we can get in there and see. I'm not gonna crawl around the dirt to get under, under there right now, but. 
So I don't know if that's what separated the... Hopefully that front... Yeah. I can't get under there right now, so it is what it is. Yeah, whatever. So yeah, I'm just grabbing some things out of here and we're heading to go pick up that trailer right now, the 20 footer. Insurance is all done, so everything's working out. We'll, we'll be on the road tomorrow heading to North Dakota. And it looks like we got a load coming back, a little bobcat, so that's good news also. But yeah, after being in that little 2500, I got a newfound respect for the amount of space and luxuries I have in this bad boy. Holy moly. Yeah, this is like a condo. <laughs> so the adventure continues. Here's the trailer. It's a beautiful diamond sea. It's got nice rub rails for hooking, hook, lots of hook points. And it has a two inch receiver. This is two and a half, so I had to go buy this. I come back and the ball, the hitch that they have, doesn't have enough drop so this trailer would have been riding at a huge angle so the gentleman that works here actually had to go up to the store to buy something that'll fit on this how about that you can adjust the neck on this thing hey man I just noticed you can adjust the neck on this thing if we put that up there we would have been fine Yeah, okay. Yeah, the problem with changing, I mean, yeah, we can change it, but the, the issue with moving everything around now is now we're gonna center the load down, so now you're gonna have an extreme amount of tongue weight. Yeah. So, I mean, the, the, level you can, the, the level you can get the trailer, the better off you're gonna be. Nice truck, though. Well, there you go. That would have worked. <laughs> oh well. So we're here at the yard and 20 foot. That's the best I could find. I've searched everywhere and done everything, so it's gonna be some clever loading. Oh, I just want this to be over. So we're moving the truck and trailer around so he doesn't have to drive all the way around the yard. And this is nice and open here. So oh, this is gonna be like the biggest jigsaw puzzle I've done as an adult. Not that I've done a lot of jigsaw puzzles as an adult.
So I was taking bets at the beginning of this thing, over under if it's gonna fit or not, and I was betting it wasn't gonna fit. But this plan, look at this. We got one pallet coming. It's gonna go right in this open section right here. That's exactly 40 by 48. And then we just got all these small pieces of pipe sit on top and we're done. But more good news, they're actually gonna let me unhitch this and just leave it in the yard so I don't have to uh, back it into the parking lot because the parking lot at the hotel has been kind of full. So yeah, we just got <laughs> the forklift ran out of propane. I was like, come on, man. It took three, it took two hours to get the trailer hooked up because they didn't have the right ball hitch, like I said. So, but look at this. Deck cleared. We just gotta slap a couple pieces of those metal piping on. So that is everything. Deck's totally clear. And look at this fit. Because this trailer had this little nose, it's 20 foot from here back. Look at this. Everything is on it. Absolutely perfect. I could probably even shift this forward a little bit. But I'm gonna get my tarp tucked on this side, wrapped around, folded up in here bungee 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 utilize every strap I got and we're good to go uh, I don't know if you saw that but they got me a sawzall so I'm just cutting off the dunnage right because well the plates were already on it to hold the pipe so I just put the dunnage on right there and stuck over and this trailer is only freaking like I don't know eight feet wide not even eight feet wide so type fit but we got it So we got straps everywhere, five straps, right? Over the pallet, pulling down, still grabbing the tube. Pipe, this one's just grabbing the bars down, but the tube. Wood, pallet, tube, and then these last two just piping, and this piping stuck down even more. This is more secure than when it left. Pennsylvania <laughs> it's now like 5 30 so I gotta hurry up so these guys can get out of here See the guys standing by the shop? I think they're waiting on me, so I'm gonna return all their tools. And if I have to, at least it's covered now, I can drive out of here and finish it in the morning. So yeah, we were holding them up. I actually walked over and they were so polite that they didn't even come over and yell. <clears throat> or at least ask, hey man, like we're trying to get home. They didn't even come over, just sitting there waiting, nice and patiently, so. I walked over, gave them their tools, and I said, y'all ain't waiting for me, are you? And they're like, we sure are. So okay, let me uh, 
the load is covered, right? So it's gonna stay dry. So all I'm doing is uh, back in the trailer next to my other one. And uh, yeah, throwing all my crap on top of the trailer. And then first thing in the morning, I'm gonna come here, make sure that all the bungees, throw two more straps over the top of the tarp and uh, we'll be on the road. So, so yeah. Now this is a little easier backing up than uh, the 40 footer. So. Ooh, look how quickly that thing turns. Holy moly. Jesus. Okay. I forgot how to drive a regular trailer. See that? Thanks, man. Have a good one. <laughs> this is broken, so I couldn't jack the trailer up. It's not totally secured, or else I would have just drove it out of here. So these poor guys have been waiting here. Like, serious? Every fucking day. Every fucking day.